Uh, I was reading about uh, Bhaktisiddhanta's books, and I noticed that he he uses the term to serve the holy name, which was later on uh, used as chanting the holy name. But he every time he refers to chanting, he uses you serve the holy name. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very curious about this. So I'm not sure if serve the holy name means or it applies only to, to fully self-realized souls. And because he was speaking on that platform, it was like, then you can actually serve the holy name. It doesn't, I don't understand the meaning of serving the holy name in the neophyte stage or beginning. Yeah, in the beginning stage, it's just chanting. And in the clearing stage, it means chanting without offenses. And in the perfect stage, it means that you realize that the holy name is Krishna himself. It's not different. So when you're in the presence of the holy name, it's just like being with the Lord. So it's serving you. Yeah, you can serve the holy name. The, the holy name is non-different from the Lord himself. You know, that's stated in every scripture, and uh, especially by Lord Chaitanya in his Shikshashtaka, it's just it's discussed. So we should, uh, when we're in the presence of the holy name, we're, we're there with Krishna. Then you have to realize that. Yeah, I, I used to get frustrated at the beginning because of this chanting and this same uh, nonsense tantrum. I went to see Krishna, but then nothing would happen, right? <laughs> so so after a while of, of that, I basically understood that Krishna is already there. It's just that I can't see him. Ah, so so every time that I chant, it's so easy because I know he's there. And I know when we sing Chaitanya, Goranitai, and like that, I know they're there. Uh, it's just like behind the curtain. So yeah. it's not a question of I want to see you. I know they're there. So I, I know it's a nice, they hear the nice loving service, you know. Yeah. And this is how it works for me. Prabhupada used to uh, respond to this question, can you show me God? You know, because many people used to ask this question. He would say, even if it's possible for us to show you, can you see God? Do you have the eyes to see? See? And this, this is a very good question because, you know, Krishna is present in his holy name. And when we're in the presence of the holy name, Krishna is certainly there. But how many people can see him in that form? If you can't see in that form, how can you see in his original form? So, yeah. Krishna is in his holy name, but we just can't see him. And the more, the more intimate we become with the holy name, the more we can see Krishna's presence in the holy name. I've understood that he likes... He likes the, this love to be the, developed by hearing, because by hearing there's no tendency of, of just visual or some other attachment that's superficial. Yeah, that's... we're very attached to visual. Mm -hmm. I want to see Krishna. Well, what about hearing Krishna? Mm -hmm. Or actually the whole process is just hearing and... Uh, and tasting. Tasting, feeling, yes. Yeah, tasting. We ta the, the secret is purifying the tongue. By purifying the tongue, by chanting, and by taking prasadam, then everything else happens. Like that. That's the active thing. This is the great secret. Huh? People in, try to practice yoga and you know, do stuff with energy and breathe and this and that and you know, open up the chakras and whatever that means. And then, <laughs> uh, you know, but they don't understand that real progress in yoga occurs by purifying the tongue. That's the secret. There's even a shloka, you know. You can find shlokas in the Upanishads and like that. So, any more questions? Yeah. 
is a question from Luciano. I plan to start on building business networks useful for a future community in Chile, mainly in the food area like dried fruits, legumes, etc. Is this recommended? Oh, any kind of prashadam business is great. Yeah. Prabhupada very much encouraged his disciples to open up restaurants, to establish farms, um, you know, any kind of, yeah, fruit or milk products or any kind of prashadam like that. It should be prashadam. It should be like a ready-to-eat product. That way you can offer it to the Lord and then people would take it directly. They won't cook it or do, you know, do some other preparation to it. Because by doing that, they usually would commit some offense. So uh, if you make uh, like dried fruit or milk sweets or, you know, some kind of ready to eat product like that, that would be very good business. Especially if you can make it for export. Because, uh, I mean, Chile is going to be one of the uh, fertile areas in the world that is still capable of producing crops in the near future, especially South Chile. Okay. Namaste Naro Singh Haya. Jagadish Hare Jagadish Hare Jagadish Hare 